And we're live. It's Adam Robinson, founder CEO of Retention.com. We recently hired Alex Lossoff from the office. He started working for us on February 1st. He proposed upon arrival that we cut our 20% 20, 20 commissions forever to agencies to 20% for one year because he told me he was doing it for me. He said the Yapo exists, exec at some point did the math and their CAC to LTV ratio looked so good when they chopped years two and beyond and it's a market standard. So we should just do it. And all anybody really needs is one year. So this is a great opportunity to contrast old school and new school culture and try to explain why and how I'm trying to do what I am trying to do. My take is the following. Old school culture tries to maximize enterprise value by hoarding value inside of the organization and being ruthless about revenue maximization and capturing enterprise value that way. Uh, unsurprisingly, companies that operate this way have a bad reputation in the marketplace and they have to start all sorts of covert ops to try to fix that. Um, and that sucks. I'm trying to maximize enterprise value by creating a goodwill surplus between us, the company, and our employees, customers, vendors, affiliates, everybody. I believe that that will create such brand heat and it will be so strong, will be so loved by people that they'll never consider using anyone else for anything related to what we do. So what was my reaction to cutting the 20% lifetime commissions to one year? Don't do it. Why? Number one, cutting commissions from what we were telling people, which, which was perpetual, to what, yeah, what Alex was suggesting, which was one year, would rate, it would stop this vibe, right? That we put the agencies first and it would, it would make them think they're hiring a Yapo guy and they're gonna start behaving like Yapo. Number two, I truly believe this. If agencies believe that we are going to do everything in their best interest, and this goes for customers and affiliates and everything else, and never put ourselves in front of them, um, they will give us so many more leads that'll make up for this CAC to LTV ratio stuff. Number three, there's so much halo effect from having killer product market fit in affiliate and agency channels. Assembling a dominant network of brand champions helps in everything in a way that we will never know and appreciate. I actually want to speed that up. I want to do everything to make it move faster rather than do anything to slow it down and give anyone any type of hesitation about feeling anything but positive vibes from us. Number two, uh, number four, I believe the 20% forever helps with this moat that we're building. We're the first mover. It's one less thing people can sell against us when another competitor shows up, which will happen someday. This attitude represents a big contrast between old school and new school. So there are a few takeaways. Number one, old school is take. New school is give. That's pretty straightforward. I sincerely believe that. Uh, number two, <clears throat> when it comes to commissions, old school, you could guess it, pay less. New school, I'm trying to figure out how to give these guys even more, right? I want them to be euphoric about the situation that's in front of them. Um, number three, employees. Old school, try to lock them up. Apparently when Laz left, there was an executive meeting where they were trying to figure out how to not let that happen again. My whole philosophy, what I told Laz is he's vesting for three years. I wanna make him $10 million and put him in a position to make 50 at his next job. That's our philosophy. I believe that if the world knows that, that we're grooming ever more talented people out of the people we have and they're getting ever bigger jobs when they come here that's going to get more talented people to work here because that is what everybody wants they want to improve their value as a professional in the position that they have and they want to use it as a stepping stone in their career path number four <clears throat> the old school view on customers is do what's best for the company our view is do what's best for the customer it's pretty straightforward number five transparency absolutely non-existent in the old school way of life. And the new school philosophy is work in public because that is what is going to resonate on social media. It is authentic. It is a commentary on where you are in your journal journey and you can just show people why they would want to work here. Uh, follow me. If you want to watch me build a unicorn in public, I'm Adam Robinson. That is a contrast between old school and new school culture. I'm out.